Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. For those of you joining for the first time today. All right, guys, we are heading into the new year. Today is the last trading day of 2023. And today AMC was down after having four green days in a row. Um, all that being said, guys, we still had a, um, a very small but green week this week. Okay. It was 0.33 green ending the year on a positive note, right? So I know there's going to be a lot of you saying that that's stupid or whatever. I don't care. Um, it is what it is, right? Like guys, we are where we are in this play. We know what we're holding. We know the manipulation that's continuing to go on. So as long as we don't forget that, there's nothing else to really talk about as far as like what's happening and who's doing what and what's going on, right? Like there's so many people in this play that are blaming Adam Aaron for all these bad things that are happening when people like Ken Griffin come out and say that they're the that he's the one that Citadel and other market makers are the ones who are setting the price of these stocks. If that's the case, guys, he's the one who we are all against. We've known this for a long time. So there's no reason to think that Adam Aaron is doing anything wrong in the sense of like driving the price down. OK, there's a lot of people out there that say different things about Adam Aaron, and I'm not really here to change your mind. And if you want to listen to my opinion and and battle me on it, that's fine. I don't care. I'm here for that. And I, I expect that. But just know that like there are there are multiple opinions to be had. If you have a different opinion than me, I don't care. I'm just here to I mean, like. I'm here to keep things motivated and in doing so I'm talking about the stock and talking about the stock talks about the people in this like that are part of the play and that's going to let that's going to let give me a place to voice my opinion. I I don't hate on anybody for having a different opinion than me. I ask that if you do have a different opinion than me, prove prove things with like links and things like that and and let's have a good conversation about it versus just you telling me that I suck or whatever like that. And I don't care. Tell me I suck. It doesn't bother me. It's it's another comment on my video. And I thank you for that. Um, I've had a lot of really good conversations with some of you um, that don't agree with me. And, and I think that, you know, like, I'm going to be your friend at the end of this. I don't care what it is. Um, I don't care who's right or wrong. I've said it in the past. I'm going to own if I'm wrong when all this is said and done and whenever whenever like this play is done, I'm going to own it if I'm wrong. I personally don't believe I'm wrong. I definitely believe that Moas is coming. I don't know when. I've never said when it's going to happen. I've never once said how high I think it's going to go. So if you ask me those questions, I'm not going to I'm not going to answer like with a with a definitive numbers because it's something that I'm not going to do. I'm not going to tell you what I think it's going to go to. Um, I do, I will 100% always say that I, I feel, I believe, and I, and I, and I know that Moas is still coming, that Moas is still on the horizon for AMC, for GameStop, for, you know, for the, the meme stocks are going to get their day and it's coming. And I, and I truly 100% believe that AMC is going to be the biggest thing that's ever happened in regards to a short squeeze, which is why we're calling, which is why it's called Moas guys. This is not dead. If you are looking for motivation when it comes to AMC, like and subscribe to my channel because that's what we're about. That's what I want this community that I'm that I'm trying to help keep going um, to have. I want there to be this just this community, this friendship, this whatever you want to call it, um, apes together, right? Like we're we're supposed to be together. So that's my goal for this. All that being said. I just think that there's a lot that um, we're still learning that we're going to continue to learn. And I want to continue to learn this with you guys. I'm going to share with you what I feel next year, um, what I what I learn, what I read, what I see, what the stock is showing us, what is going on with AMC. Guys, the, the other thing that I'm going to challenge everybody to do that watches my video, whether or not you've ever you've ever watched one of my videos or not. Um, going into 2024 is to better yourselves in in some way right like the, i think everybody should always be trying to better themselves so this is not so this is not even 
anything to do with AMC. So I apologize for anybody who is going to, you know, who thinks that I shouldn't be talking about this. Um, I think it's important. I think that it's important because I think that if, if we're so focused only on one thing in our lives that you can't, you can't grow as a person, you can't grow in any way um, that's, that's beneficial to you or those around you. And by, by choosing to grow yourself will make you a better stock trader. It will make you a better person. It'll just make you a better, whatever it is that you need to be better at, because you can, you can start focusing on something else and learn discipline in a different way. And that will help you along the way in what you're doing. Right? So I challenge everybody to learn something new. So learning something new this year is something that I want to do. I haven't decided what it is I want to learn yet. But I definitely would like to learn something new this year, this next year in 2024. The other thing that I want to do is I want to take a skill that I currently have and I want to get better at that skill, right? So it might be golf for me. Like I love to golf and I'm not a great golfer, but I would like to get better. So maybe it's going to be golfing that I tr that I choose to try to get better at. It might, I don't, I don't know what that is going to be yet and I don't. I haven't decided I'm going to probably sit and think about it this weekend, right? That being said, I challenge you to do the same thing. Go out there, take something that you currently do, whether or not you do it well or not, it doesn't matter what, but choose something that you do that you would like to get better at and get better at it, okay? Um, this is a side thing for me. So like one of the things that like I'm, I'm going to get better at for me personally, and this is not I'm still going to decide something else like a skill, but so I've mentioned it, I think before on here, I'm a type one diabetic and my, my diabetes has not always been in control for me. I've had multiple surgeries in my eyes because of my diabetes. I just recently, like last week I got it, or actually I just, I just got it hooked up on, on Wednesday. So a couple days ago is I got a new diabetic pump with a, with a new meter and a bunch of things that like, will that should help my, my blood sugars and my diabetes be more under control. I'm a type one diabetic. I've been diabetic since I was a year and four months old. So it's something that's always been a part of my life and I have not always done a good job at taking care of it. So one of my 100% goals for 2024 is to get my diabetes under control. Um, you all know, I've said it so many times on this channel, how important my fit, <coughs> excuse me, how important my family is to me. And I need to be able to take care of them for the rest of, you know, for, for as long as I can. And I can, I can lengthen the amount of time that I'm able to take care of my family by taking care of myself, right? So do the same for yourselves, whether, whether it's, you know, who knows what it, obesity, or if you have diabetes, or if you have some sort of medical problem, figure out a way that you can help make yourself better so that you can also make those around you better, right? So that's another challenge is health, make your health better in 2024. Guys, there's a lot that I think that we can all do and we can, we, I want to be here as a community. So like, I know that this, I'm, I'm not trying to like pivot my channel to being something different than it is. Like I'm gonna, I'm going to continue to talk about AMC every video. AMC is going to be the, the driving focus of my video, but in motivating about AMC, I want to motivate our lives in general, right? Like learning something new, getting better at something that we've done. Like there's a lot of things out there that you can do to help that and to help you get better at different things, right? Like a good buddy of mine, he's got a, he's got a website that he, like his website is all about online courses and finding online courses for anything. There are so many things out there for online courses. I think I've mentioned it in the past. The Life Edge is what it is, all right? The LifeEdge.com will take you to a place where you can and this is not sponsored by him. Like he didn't, he didn't ask me to do this. I just think that it's great because there's so many people out there that think I want to learn something new. I just don't know where to go. Go to the lifeedge.com. All right. And he's, he also has a YouTube channel where he does podcasts and talks to people. And some of these people that he talked to, they do amazing things. I mean, everybody that he talks to does amazing things. And um, I'll put a link to it down in the description. And you guys can check it out. And maybe you guys decide to learn something new that way this year. And it, and it would be something more than just like, maybe I'm going to learn how to, I don't know, um, like ride a unicycle, right? Like I probably can't ride, a, I can't probably can't learn how to ride a unicycle on an online course, but there might be one out there. I don't know. I'll find out and I'll figure it out. I'm probably not going to learn how to ride a unicycle this year. I was just looking for an example. 
But if you guys find something that you think that you want to learn this year, there are a lot of there's a lot of avenues to do it. And the Life Edge is definitely probably the best place to do it. Um, it I've I've I'm on the email list. I see it all. I watch the I watch everything that he posts. And I think that it's just it's a great avenue for learning. So like and I'm, I'm only saying this to say that there are places out there for you to go to learn things that you might have not known you needed to learn or that you've always been saying, I wish I could learn this and I don't know how to do it. Well, here's how to do it. And that is, and I'm, and I'm saying this because of my challenges to you, right? Like I'm challenging you to learn something new this year, do something good for yourself in 2024, because I know a lot of you are feeling down about AMC. You're feeling down about where you're at in your position. And by giving yourself something positive and something to look forward to is a way to help combat that, right? Like for me, like the biggest thing for me, that helps me to deal with this other than the fact that like I'm running my own business. You see it behind me all the time, guys. Um, my family, right? Like my family is my driving factor for, for not feeling down and out. Like if I was so down and out about AMC and where I'm at in AMC, I'm not going to be able to function. And there's, a, I feel like there's a lot of people out there that, that, that might be in that position. And I just want to be here for you guys to, to let you know, you're not alone. Number one, like I'm here for you. There's a lot of people that are here for you. I've said it before. I do think that a lot of the negative comments is a very small amount of people. Um, but for those of you who are legitimately down and out and feeling really just down about this, don't right? Like, you know what you hold. Don't let, don't let whatever you see media saying, or some of these other guys on YouTube that are just like, that are down, that are bashing it, especially the guys that used to prop it up and now they're bashing it and they like, they're so flip floppy. Um, I get that people, like I said before, I'm uh, people are allowed to have their own opinions, but I definitely think you can, you can see a difference in some of the ways that people talk about where AMC's at, whose fault it is and things that are going on. Just don't let it get to you. All right. We know what we hold. We're holding moon tickets, right? Like we've said this before. I'm going to say it again. Moas is coming. It might come in 2024. It might not. All I know is I'm I'm here until it comes and I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop buying. I'm not going to stop holding. I'm going to continue to be here with you guys until that day comes. Guys, I hope you have a great and safe weekend. Happy New Year's. I will see you in 2024. And in the meantime, stay positive, stay motivated, stay motivating. Talk to you later.